Hi guys, I've just finished editing this video and I've got to say it starts off a little slow but hang in there because it ends with a bang. Most of you guys probably saw the video that I uploaded yesterday where I attempted to cast water inside a resin to see if it would cure. Now we had some great success with curing the resin but a lot of you guys suggested a few different things to try. The main one I saw was waiting for the resin to slightly cure and then injecting the water in using a syringe. And the other good one was using salt to make the water a bit more dense so it wouldn't float to the top. Now since we'll be waiting for the resin to cure a bit, we won't be using the pressure pot. So the first thing I need to do is mix up my resin and degas it in the vac chamber. You can really tell that the weather's starting to cool down. That took forever to vac down. So it's now a waiting game. We need to wait for this resin to heat up before we inject the water. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to get the syringe ready. I'm just going to use the leftover blue water from yesterday. We're starting to get warm. Hopefully it's not too long now. Well guys, what's your prediction? Do you think this is gonna work? Do you think it's gonna hover halfway or do you think it's gonna float to the top? I really hope it works because I reckon it's gonna look really cool. It is starting to get really warm now so I don't think we're too far away. All right, I think we're nearly ready. It's getting super hot. I think there may even be a bit of steam starting. We just got to time this perfect. That could have been a bit too early. Wait a little longer. It's so hot. It's ridiculous. Okay, I'm going. Let's do it. Oh, 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 <laughs> it's boiling the water. Oh, it's escaping. Oh no, we, we had it perfect too. It just found its way out. Ah, oh, spewing. It still feels a bit soft in the bottom, but I can't suck any more liquid up. I'm going to make up another syringe. Now this one's a bit smaller. I might not be able to reach the bottom. Alright, let's see if I can get into the bottom. Into the soft stuff. Nah. Can't reach. No. There is one other thing I could try. So I've just flipped it over. The bottom here is still soft. It's really hot. Let's try and inject into there. It's kind of working. Let me move this camera down so you can see a bit better. Let's try another one in the side. Are we working or are we stopped? So hot. No. 
I think that's it. That's all she wrote. We actually did get a couple of cool ones in there. I don't know if you guys can see them too well. That's worth another go, I think. So it's now time for round two. Now what I'll do a bit different in this one is as we know that the resin cures from top to bottom, we'll wait for the top half to go hard and then we'll jam it in the bottom. Hopefully that'll stop it from floating and it might work this time. It's kind of like watching paint dry. Okay, looks like we're starting to go. Oh, okay, now. Now's our chance. Oh no, do I go too early? Come on. Come on. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's just going to stay there. Look at that. I think it's worked. It's just got, oh no. It's just got to stay there. We are dribbling a bit out of the side. Come on, stay there. I think we've got it. I think it's going to work. It almost looks like the water's dropping now. Come on. Don't drop too much. No, no, no. I should turn it. Should I turn it upside down? Don't hit. Uh oh. We're boiling. Oh, it's bulged out the bottom. I hope this doesn't explode on me. It kind of looks like it wants to. It definitely looks like... Look at that. This thing looks like it's ready to go, man. Look at that. This thing looks like... Oh! That was certainly interesting. Went off like a little rocket. I'll have to wait for that to cool down now and we'll take a closer look. Because we came so close to getting a result that time, I'm going to try it again. But this time, instead of injecting the whole syringe full of water in, I'm just going to do a little bit, like a couple of drops, and see if we can keep it in the middle. I found some of the black water that we used yesterday. We'll be able to do one drop of blue and one drop of black. We're getting hot. It's nearly go time. Okay, it's time to go. Now, I think I went a smidgy early last time, so let's just wait a little bit longer. All right, let's go now. This time, just a little. Oh, too much. I'll just do a little one there. Let's try the black. Just a little one. Come back to the side. One more. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, it's going again. Even that small amount. Let's see if we can jam a little bit more in. 
go as low as I can. Don't know what it's doing, but it looks pretty cool. I'm going to stand back out of the way. Looks like it stopped what it was doing. I'm going to leave the syringe in there. Geez, that last one might have worked. Let me try a black one. Doesn't look like the black one's working. One of the blue ones is still looking pretty good. I think we just got to let it cool down now and we'll take a closer look. While they're cooling down, I'm going to get ready for our last experiment, salty water. Should be enough I reckon. Now I'm going to do this one much like the experiment yesterday, except this time I'll let it heat up a little bit before dumping it in. We're getting warm. I think I need to do a saltiness check. Ugh. Yep, that's salty. So we're starting to heat up. I definitely don't want it to get as hot as the previous two because we kind of want the water to mix a little bit. Wow, that dropped straight to the bottom. That salt really worked. I'm just a bit worried now that it's going to explode again. I honestly thought it would suspend halfway, but obviously I was wrong. Maybe a slow pour might work. Wow, that looks so cool. If we could just get one of them to stay halfway. Whoa. I have a feeling this is going to go off with a bang. Oh, that's it. All right. I'm going to stand back because I think this could go off. I'm going to watch with you guys behind the camera. Well, it doesn't look like we've got any pops and bangs yet. Could still be a little early. I really thought that was going to go off with a bang. Kind of glad it didn't, to be honest. So now these are cooled down, let's take a closer look. Now the first one we did wasn't too exciting, but we did manage to trap a nice little water droplet in there. Can you see it hiding in there? It looks pretty cool. Now the second one, this is the one that scared the absolute crap out of me. And to be honest, it's the coolest looking one here. Just like the first one, we managed to trap some cool water droplets, but what I like the most is the explosion effect. Check that out. Full separation. As for the third one, it looks a little boring. Nothing too crazy went on there. A couple of little water droplets, but nothing too great. But the last one with the salt is quite interesting. We managed to trap some liquid in the bottom here. So that's kind of cool looking. So let me know which one's your favourite. One, two, three or four. Well guys, today is May the 2nd and it's Nicole and I's 23rd wedding anniversary. So I'm going to wrap up this edit and then spend the day with Nicole. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.